Latest medical news on the pandemic crisis. We're joined by CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus. Doctor, good morning. Uh, the majority of the country beginning to reopen now. We're seeing New York City is, is now on track. So as we reach this stage right now, how do prevention methods change? Are, are facial coverings still an effective tool? No question about it. This is a droplet spread disease. Wearing masks in public will dramatically decrease the spread of the virus from one person to another. And it has to be done. We all have to think of one here and wear masks. It's simple. Okay, uh, doctor, th there, is a, there is some news that's coming out about uh, coronavirus as it relates to pre-existing health conditions. Uh, it, it affects people who have those yeah. conditions, obviously, more. There is new research on cancer this morning. You're an oncologist. Tell us about that and how much you're concerned. So this is the largest study done. There are two studies done, one in Europe and one here in the United States. And what it showed was is that people who had cancer, active cancer, and were diagnosed with COVID-19 in a 30-day period, there was almost a 13% death rate in those people, a 13% death rate. So cancer was a significant risk for complications and death from COVID-19. What was interesting in the study is it didn't matter if you were actively receiving treatment or not. So the take home is, be aware if you have cancer and continue your treatment to try to get that cancer under control. David, we heard that President Trump yesterday announced that the U.S. will cut ties with the WHO. We're in the middle of a pandemic. What are the potential repercussions of that? Listen, I've been as critical as anybody over the World Health Organization over the last several decades. It's bureaucratic, it's slow to act, but we need it at this time. This is a global pandemic and there is one organization that can organize member countries across the globe to work together, to share data, to make the right things happen for the betterment of humankind. And so I don't think this is the right time to walk out of the World Health Organization. On the vaccine side, news about a possible need to do human challenge trials. Explain what those are. So challenge trials we've done before with the common cold, which is we give you a vaccine and then we wait several weeks later and we actually give you the virus. You know, now that numbers are decreasing in the virus across the globe, if you do a clinical trial, it may take a long time to get enough patients with and without the virus to know the answer. But with a challenge trial, and there are risks, believe me, you're giving the virus to people, but you can very quickly know whether a vaccine works or not. This is something that is being discussed both here in the United States and around the world as a possibility of a way to accelerate vaccine development. Yeah, time is obviously of the essence right now. Dr. David Agus, as always, thank you.